Hello happy souls, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte with Happy Souls 1111. Hope you're good guys. Welcome to all my new subscribers and big love and big hellos to all my existing subscribers. I love you guys so much. And as an appreciation, sorry, as a token of my appreciation, there is a um, special offer on my readings at the moment. It's 45% off. That's a 30 minute reading for um, £30. It's normally 55 the coupon code is 3430, being the number 30, FOR, and number 30. You can find information on my community page. Um, it is limited to 30 purchases, so hurry while stocks last. I believe there's only two or three of those readings left. Um, good luck. I hope you grab one. Um, and you can book that online at happysouls1111.com. So, Gemini, we've got a reading for you today. What's happening in your connection? What do you need to know? What are the energies with you and your masculine? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What do you need to know to move forward for your highest good? If you're struggling with the journey at the moment, I am offering um, a free guided meditation for self-love and surrender on Saturday in my Facebook group. You can find the link in the description box below. And there's also some information about it on my community page. But it's completely free of charge. We'll be coming together and meditating together for about 35 or 40 minutes. And um, circle meditations like this, when there's lots of us, are very powerful. It's a very healing experience for all concerned. So if you're not feeling great, or if you just want a little boost, please do come and join us. You're very, very welcome. I love doing meditations for you guys. Um, so let's get your reading on the road, Gemini. I'm going to use the Vice Versa Tarot the significators and the connecting energies. I don't read with reversals this deck because as you can see, they are reversible. So there's a different image on each side, a light aspect and a dark or shadow aspect. So I'm going to pull one for the feminine on the left, one for the masculine. I'm going to use a different deck for each of you and we're going to dig into your, your energies today and see what's happening, see if we can shed some light on how things are moving forward. Right, Divine Feminine, we've got the Hierophant. Divine Masculine, we've got the Page of Wands. And it's the light aspect for each of you. So the Divine Feminine is definitely in this period of intense study, um, seeking high guidance, seeking a connection to something deeper um, you know, this is definitely a period of looking for the key forward. And I feel like, Gemini, you've definitely arrived at a stage in your journey where you, you really just want to be in the know now about how to heal. So you've probably been Googling hard and, you know, just trying to figure out how you can overcome all of the pain, all of the triggers and figure out how to deal with this. You've been looking in a much more pragmatic way at this journey and understanding what you need to do in order to move forward. For the Divine Masculine, I do feel like he may be kind of quite fun, flirty and playful at the moment, but this is also a kind of pause for him. He may not be taking any massive tangible action with this Page of Wands energy. Um, you know, we see this gentleman here just, just pausing, um, grasping his wand and thinking about how to move forward. But this card can also indicate kind of very playful, fun and flirty communication or messages going back and forward. But nothing tangible or solid coming in from your divine masculine's energy. He's in this kind of very playful, light-hearted energy. Um, also noticing that this Hierophant actually features a couple looking to the Hierophant here. The Hierophant, of course, being the Pope. Five is also a transitional number. Now, if, it, if your twin's not literally studying and looking to heal with you, it could be the case that you've been co collaborating in the 5D and discussing a way forward. So we'll leave them there because I'm going to use them for connecting energies, but I want to pull some cards for each side. I'm going to use the way of the panda for the masculine. And I'm going to use, actually, we use this one for the masculine. We use the Moose Tarot for the masculine, the, the way of the panda for the feminine. So what's happening in your connection? What are you thinking and feeling? How can you move forward for your highest good, Gemini? What's going down? Let's have a look. 
we've got the Page of Swords reversed. We've got the Ace of Wands. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Wow, what are you thinking, feeling? Queen of Wands reversed. Strength. And the Knight of Pentacles. What do you need to do to move forward for your highest good? We've got Eight of Wands in reverse. We've got the Chariot. And we've got the World in reverse. See what's coming out for your masculine. I love this deck. This is a new deck. It's called the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. If you want to check it out, I'm loving the neon pink sides okay what's happening on masculine's energy we've got the hermit reversed we've got the fool and the two of cups reversed what's he thinking and feeling about the connection we've got the lovers reversed we've got the page of pentacles reversed and we've got the hanged man. What does he need to do to move forward for his highest good? We've got the sun. We've got the king of cups. And we've got death in reverse. I'm just going to pull some cards of the connecting energies from the vice versa tarot. <coughs> So let's get three. I've got the sun, the two of cups in reverse. That's the shadow aspect as well. So sorry, I'll turn it out that way because I don't reverse all of these. And we've got the two of swords, the shadow aspect as well. Oh, Gemini. Now if you're cross watching and it's your masculine that's Gemini. Um, you know, just take what works. It's, this isn't going to resonate for everybody and every single Gemini that comes to the reading. But if your Gemini is in Moon, Rising or Venus, you may find some messages in this reading for you or your masculine also. Now, what I'm really seeing happen here with the Divine Feminine is that, you know, she's got really tired of this masculine just being a bit, you know, being in this player energy of not committing not bringing forward anything tangible. And she she may have put a stop to, to communication. And with this Ace of Wands here, you know, we really do see her grasping the spiritual wand. You know, this is a beautiful new spiritual beginning. And I feel that while she may have, um, you know, brought communication to a blunt end because he's just not bringing forward what you want, you are actually taking this journey seriously and very focused on getting to the, the truth of the triggers. You know, this is nine of wands. It means not giving up. Um, we see this panda here mirroring this energy of grasping, you know, the wand. But blue and yellow is all about truth and triggers, um, you know, authenticity. And I really feel like, you know, I was saying about this studying um, the Page of Swords is traditionally about messages, um, probably of quite a cold, logical nature. This is in reverse, and I feel that you're not you're not communicating with him in real terms about this. But you know, you're you're beavering away, figuring out how to move forward. I'm quite diligent in your your approach to healing now, but for now, you've had enough of this connection. Is how it feels. You're seeking your own joy, your own happiness. Um, and you're, you're, you're preparing yourself to kind of, to heal, to move forward. You know, you're like, I'm not giving up. I'm going to do this. Um, I think this is probably a wise decision as well, because the masculine really is um, playing a bit dumb at the moment. And I say that because I do think he's very aware of the intensity of this connection. There's definitely some understanding of this. Um but he's not got the um, he's not got the maturity 
all the inclination as yet to look at this more deeply. He's kind of going about his journey, um, you know, consciously, completely unaware of the impact he's had on you and not acknowledging the impact that you've had on him. He's kind of, you know, in that ignorance is bliss state. Um, but he is being pushed towards the light. You know, he can't avoid that forever. And the nine of here, the hermit, whilst it's in reverse, you know, it does show us that the, that energy is bubbling up under the surface, waiting to be unblocked, waiting to be released. And the two of cups has come up twice in this reading. We've got it over here for the, the connecting energies here for what's happening with the connection with the masculine. And I feel like he's probably rejected some kind of committed connection and just said, you know, I just want to be friends or, you know, I just want to have fun at the moment. Um, I'm not interested in anything serious. So there may have been a kind of you know, rebuttal of some sort where he's kind of, you know, just stepped away and is refusing to engage on a mature emotional level. That said, you know, the connecting energies here is the sun. Um, and it, this is about the truth being illuminated. I'm really guided that there's a lot of blue and yellow in this card, like this nine of wands and these truth triggers. But I really feel like despite, you know, the feminine's obvious um, disdain for his approach that she's fairly you know light-hearted about it that she's not allowing this to break her she's in a very balanced place I, I do get the impression that this is for some of you you're new to this journey and even though you know that run and chase the stage has been painful at the moment you there, there's this renewed sense of optimism because you know now what you need to do you've been doing all of this research you're ready to move forward you're ready to, you know, to find your own peace and joy. So I don't feel like there's been any major conflicts between you, but I think the, you know, the divine feminine has just quietly gone about her own business and left him to his. So the door is open for communication. Um, this is a really joyful, happy card, the sun. Um, so, you know, I think both, certainly for the masculine, you know, ignorance is bliss, he's quite content in his own energy. But for the feminine, you know, she's refusing to be beaten. Now, in terms of how they're feeling or thinking, for the feminine, we've got the Queen of Wands reversed. And this indicates to me, you know, even though, and I'm really guided that there's a lot of sunflowers, again, we've got this um, very blue, yellow energy. These, you know, these are different decks, but the, the images here really mirror one another. The Queen of Wands upright is, of course, the Queen of Spirit. And here again, the panda grasps the wand. They look very happy and they've mastered, you know, this truth trigger dynamic and how to deal with it. And for this card to come um, up reversed, I'm really thinking that this is just kind of that self-doubt that's niggling at you thinking, God, you know, can I really do this? I don't know how to do this. But you're learning and you need to allow yourself to be a learner, to be a beginner at this, to not beat yourself up before you've even, you know, got the ball rolling. Um, so you may be feeling some self-doubt and some concern as to whether you can actually bring um, this healing to fruition. But you are, you know, this is... I feel like this is back and forth. One minute you're very positive, you know, you're very upbeat, you're you're affirming, you know, I can and I will. Um, and you, you've got this beautiful strength and this compassionate heart, which was has allowed you to, to maintain, you know, balanced, healthy, um, joyful communication. But you're really not sure how to move forward with the connection or with him. And I think you don't need to worry about this too much right now. Um, you need to be focused on your own healing. I think this assessment of, you know, really throwing yourself deep into it right now and leaving him to his own devices is a good one. So whilst you may be thinking and feeling that, you know, you're really not sure, sure what to do for the best, there's no rush to do that. You will know what to do when you tap into this higher guidance and you start working through those triggers. Any assessment of this situation and what to do you're going to have at the moment is going to be warped by the triggers and the wounds that you're trying to heal. So focus on trying to, um, you know, big yourself up and trust in your ability to embrace this journey and to really power forward. Because I feel like if, for those of you that are quite new to this journey, that are finding this reading today, Gemini, I feel like you're going to power through this really quickly. I'm getting really good vibes from my guide, Arthur, for you. The masculine is, you know, in a state of, shall we say, you know, everything's suspended. He's really not thinking 
about this at the moment. Um, I'm sorry to be so blunt with that, but there's no point sugarcoating it. I really feel like um, he's doing a really good job of ignoring the triggers. But, you know, what's really revealing is we've, we've got both the Two of Cups and the Lovers come up reverse for him. Now, these cards wouldn't have come up at all if these Two of Cups and Lovers energy didn't exist within his energy. <coughs> They're reversed because those energies are blocked and the masculine is ignoring them. So for his feelings, I really feel like, you know, he's probably got some awareness of the intensity of your connection, but he's just squashed it right down. And whilst you've stopped communicating, you know, you may have been trying to trigger him in to get the ball rolling again. And I really don't think he's in the frame of mind that he's going to do that. He's not making any plans um, within this connection right now. He's kind of suspended and looking at things from a, a, a much more limited viewpoint, shall we say, because he's not connecting with his emotions. Um, he's kind of just out there on his own journey, you know, in this very playful, lighthearted energy. But the connecting energy between you is the two of cups. OK, now is the shadow aspect of the card, as you can see, one side is light, one side is dark. And I feel like this is, you know, about this connection not being fully illuminated for both parties. Like there's this subconscious undercurrent of wanting to come together, but neither, you know, party really being in a healthy state of mind to acknowledge it and actually you know, want this connection right now. The divine feminine, I think, understands that she's not ready, that he's not ready, she's not ready, that she needs to heal. And he's just not allowing it to even enter his awareness. In terms of what you need to do to move forward, divine feminine, we've got the eight of wands in reverse for you. And I'm really guided that you need to um, stick with this lack of communication sorry stick with not communicating hold your ground and focus on your own divine journey um because you're you're not <coughs> pardon me you're not at a stage where you can fully embody these energies from a healthy place right now um there's cycles that needs to be closed out and this is such an interesting card this is the world <clears throat> and in this deck we see the planet earth with this panda playing his flute and there's all of this bamboo or want as it's represented in the rest of the deck but it's kind of got this cosmic I don't know if you can see this it's got this kind of cosmic starry night purple pink um, pattern on it which of course represents intuition higher learning and and spiritual downloads um, and for this card to be um, reverse. I really feel for you that the guidance is just to be patient because this integration of your higher self is coming. You know, you've grasped the wand, you're doing the practice, you're not giving up. You just need to have faith in yourself and don't try and rush things. You know, that there's, there's, it's not a race. You can take your pace, but things that need to be revealed haven't been revealed yet. And this is why you're being asked to just stay focused on yourself and your own learning and healing for now. The masculine, we've got the sun come up again. And I really do feel like he is going to be triggered. Um, we've got this big red... Um, I, th I mean, it's a flower, I guess. But I'm just thinking red can represent anxiety and yellow is um, the colour of the solar plexus where we experience triggers from. So I do feel like, you know, he's... Uh, He's going to have to acknowledge um, the truth of this connection at some point, but he's probably going to be triggered unknowingly before that happens. He's going to start, you know, receiving these triggers, um, which are designed, of course, to, to project him forward into his healing. But he's not ready for that change. And with the King of Cups here, you know, this shows him being in a very secretive kind of emotional energy that he's not going to communicate this to you. And he may get some inkling that the triggers are related to you, but he's he's going to be in this very balanced, stable, um, emotional place of not giving the game away. <coughs> Ideally, he needs to embrace this beautiful change that the opportunity here with the death card, the ending of a cycle is presenting. 
but I really don't think he's ready for that or ready for any of this which is why we see so many blocked energies on his side but the triggers are coming for him and he will have the maturity to face the triggers he's just not connecting them to you and and your your you know your the energies between you yet he's going to be focused on himself um, but he is going to have the emotional maturity to face those triggers, which is really interesting. I do feel like he will be, you know, taking it whole is what I'm hearing and facing it, which is a very positive sign. So a lot of uh, a lot of masculines really try and avoid the triggers, but he's not ready for that big, deep, powerful change. Now, as a guidance card, we've also got the Two of Swords reversed, and I'm reading this. It's really interesting that. One of the swords is pink, one of them is blue. And again, she's got her back to us in this card. And I'm thinking, you know, you don't need to make a decision at the moment about the connection. So try and resist this urge to rush forward with communication to find out what's happening. You know, just just stay in your own energy. Now is not the time to make decisions. We've got two twos here. You know, there's a lot of um, mirroring and polarity going on in your kind of in the, the twin flame mirror, should we say. Um, but I'm feeling very strongly that now's the time for both of you to be apart and you need to see this separation that you've created for yourself as a gift. You know, you were tired of his playing ways anyway. He's, he, he's not acknowledging any strong feelings, even though they are under the surface. He's not even acknowledging them himself. So don't take it personally. You know, this is a case of him not being in the the state of mind to, to indulge any potential relationship, I feel. He's in this kind of very youthful player energy. Um, and there may be a big age gap here, which is why you're responding from such a mature, healthy state of mind and diligently doing your research. And he's just kind of blindly going about his day, not having a goddamn clue about what's going on. But, you know, the energies I'm picking up for you guys are pretty positive, um, even though you're in separation right now, I think this is going to yield some really positive changes for you. So we'll get some um, oracle cards as well. Speak the language of love. Love endures. And be supportive. We get some surrender cards as well. Make structure birth divine feminine loving words have the power to change lives including your own and I'm really feeling very strongly that um, this is part of your healing and you've probably read about this already I feel really compelled to guide you to my video about twin flame healing and how to heal through meditation it's on my channel um, go and check that out because there's a need here to really address um, this self-doubt and the fear that sometimes comes up to bite you and actually I think you've already got a pretty good hold on that um, you know you're a pretty strong person Gemini but when you speak the language of love it has to begin with you this is what self-love is and I feel very strongly that you've probably worked throughout your life to try and develop a positive mental attitude and it's kind of remained madly elusive. You've never quite managed to silence um, this self-doubt, but that's coming. Um, you know, you're being asked here to surrender to joy and to make a new way forward. And there's a lot of hands in this deck. I'm feeling quite strongly um, that this is an indication to seek support from the, you know, from the twin community. There are others out there that understand, that are navigating this journey with you and that may be a bit further ahead and can offer you some really practical guidance as well as that emotional support. But it says here, a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savour it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times and keep surrendering to more joy. 
So to just embrace it, you know, the sun card came up for you as well. And I do feel like you do have quite a sunny disposition. Now I'm getting a download at the moment as well, that a lot of the triggers you're dealing with, um, I'm getting a lot of middle child energy. I don't know if you were kind of overlooked as a child, didn't always get the support or didn't feel that you could, you know, you had someone that was attentive and would listen and support you through, you know, those kind of childhood tri tribulations. Um, but that's just come through quite strongly. So there's there might be a, a, a tip there for where to begin with your healing. Because of course, most of our, um, most of those inner wounds stem from childhood. And for you, I feel like you've become so accustomed to being overlooked, disregarded. You've learned to be very self-sufficient. And this is actually, um, you know, creating some resistance in letting joy in because you don't trust it. You don't trust it's going to be stable or constant. So this is possibly one of the, the triggers and wounds that you need to heal and face. For the masculine, we've got be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. And I feel like there is... Um, There is a kind of desire and awareness in him um, that he perhaps cares a bit more than he's even allowing himself to believe. But what's really interesting here is we've got to surrender your ego. And, you know, for him, that death card, that ego card is actually reversed. He's not ready to do that. But it says here, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego, ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. And bearing in mind that this one is asking him to be supportive, you know, um, he's, he's really, this is perhaps how he's being triggered as well. Um, and it, <coughs> I think you've probably made quite a great deal of effort. And this is what these triggers are relating to. But he's looking at the broader spectrum. He's looking in at all the areas where he hasn't been supportive. He hasn't showed his care. He hasn't made an effort. And he hasn't cultivated gratitude or, or given back. You know, he's not, he's not practised equal give and take in any of his relationships, romantic or otherwise. I feel like a lot of these triggers... Um, and the son, of course, can relate to childhood for him. So this might go way back. And it could be that he's a lot younger than you, as I said, um, that he's he's actually growing up and maturing and realising he can't be a selfish so-and-so all his life, that maybe, you know, he's pissed off a few too many people, although I'm not sure he's aware that he's pissed you off. Um, you know, really, I don't know if you're that pissed off. Disappointed, perhaps, but not pissed off. Um, He's really in the frame of mind right now of trying to maintain control and boundaries. This card's called structure, um, but I'm really feeling that this is about containing his, um, his emotions is what I'm getting. And um, it feels safer for him to be contained and to have a structured approach towards any type of emotional connection so that he's not going to run away with himself. So... You know, he likes to look from the inside without stepping out, if that might might make sense. It's kind of observing from a distance and not allowing himself to get too close to emotion. The connecting energies here are love and yours. And this is a really powerful message. It's the number seven card and it's come up over this two of cups, which, you know, may be in the shadows at the moment, but that, that, that energy is lingering under the surface. And this card is a reminder that love... Love doesn't give up or lose faith. It's hopeful and it withstands every situation. And this is very true of the twin flame journey. You know, please be reminded you really can't mess this up, even if it feels like you have. This is a beautiful new beginning for you. We've got birth here and this has come up over the sun card, which can indicate a child or a pregnancy. Um, so for some of you, I don't know if that's good news or bad news, but for some of you, there could be, you know, this birth of a child on either side that has interfered with the energies of the connections. Um, it might be a very happy arrival, but could have thrown in a spanner in the works. Now we've got here, surrender resentment. It says holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. This is coming up over that indecisiveness card and this also number two. So, but I feel this is resentment for 
the journey rather than one another. Um, so certainly from the divine feminine perspective, you know, we've got a lot of red and blue here. This is anxiety triggers, self-doubt, inner childhood wounds coming up for God. You know, why do I have to do this journey? And, you know, perhaps sometimes that feeling of being frustrated by who your twin is also. But you need to let go of that. It's poisoning you. It doesn't it doesn't support you. And you need to try and forgive him for his shortcomings as well. You know, our twin isn't a perfect person, but they're also mirroring back at us all of our worst fears and ego-based shadows that need to be released within us. So forgiving him is forgiving yourself. You know, a big part of this. This is why we have to love ourselves first. It's very hard to love and forgive our twin unconditionally when we can't give that for ourselves. So, you know, try and take your focus off him at the moment and work on releasing that resentment in every which way possible, but for yourself first. Um, and finally, I'm going to get one of these lovers oracle cards because they're really lovely. As a final message for you, oh, <laughs> soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So, wow. I mean, this is going to be the last card, but I feel like I need to pull a clarifier for this divine feminine. Does this mean you've got a soulmate coming in as well, Gemini? Yeah. This is a king of pentacles, but this is a shadow aspect. Now, to me, the king of pentacles is... Oh, no, it's not. That's the one with the back to him. It's just in the dark. I mean, the king of pentacles is husband material. That is literally the perfect husband. This is like... Um, I feel like you know this already, Gemini. You might have met someone else that's more mature, more abundant, more ready to make a tangible offer. Um... Wow, that's creating a lot of confusion for you, I would guess. No wonder you're so happy to kind of do this journey on your own. Let's have a look what you need to do. We've got strength in reverse. It's already come up for you. And we've got the devil. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is an interesting turn of events. I wasn't expecting this. And that card flew out. King of Pentacles. This is misguided strength though. And do you know what? I'm suspicious of this King of Pentacles because he's in the dark. He's in the dark. He's not... You know, everything's not clear with him. There's something that's not being revealed about him. So if you've met someone else that seems like a good proposition, that seems like a soulmate, actually, I think you need to be a bit suspicious. Um, it may feel like another twin. I'm, I'm getting this could be a false twin for you because this is an unhealthy attachment. You're not going to be able to develop this strength and this connection. And there's something about this guy that isn't clear. There's something that hasn't been revealed about him, possibly a strong narcissistic trait. But, you know, this is the, the, the devil. And you can see, you know, this is about unhealthy attachment, bondage, codependency. And codependency is the template you're trying to collapse through this journey. So just be really, really careful about any potential soulmates that are lingering that, you know, it seems like a really deep, powerful connection because you can often encounter a false twin or soulmate kind of connection, which derails your journey. So there's a word of warning there. I'm really sorry. I mean, I don't have time to kind of give more advice on that, but that's a really peculiar turn of events to come up right at the end of the reading, but hopefully an important warning. Um, I really hope that helped, Gemini. Do please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. I appreciate all of your likes and certainly all of your comments as well. If you do subscribe, do tap the bell button so that I can um, make sure you get a notification when I post so you know exactly when there's another reading waiting for you. And again, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, 
if you'd like to do a twin flame connection check, which might actually be worthwhile if you've got this question about this third party, um, I also offer that through my website at www.happysouls1111.com. A twin flame connection check allows us to see if you're dealing with a real twin or not. So Gemini, that might be um, just the ticket for you. But thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.